After Paul's recent teachings about our freedom from the law and the power of God's grace over sin, in Romans chapter 6, Paul expounds on our righteousness in Christ and how that righteousness should keep us from a lifestyle of sin. Paul asks in verse 1, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. How shall we, who died to sin, live any longer in it? Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of God the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. See, when a person comes to faith in Jesus, we experience spiritual death and rebirth. And because we are in Christ in a close and intimate relationship with Him, that spiritual death is death to sin itself. Just as Christ rose from physical death, we also rise from spiritual death to walk in a new life that He's created for us. Oh, we still have a choice to make. In this fallen world, we haven't fully lost our desire to sin. It still tempts us. But once held captive by the authority and power of sin, we've been forgiven and set free by the righteousness that can only come through Jesus. So why continue to live as a slave to sin when you don't have to? No longer dead in our sin, we're now alive by the wonder-working power of Jesus. So Paul encourages us today, no longer live for the temporary life ruled by sin, but live for that eternal life in the righteousness of God, so freely given to us by our Savior, Jesus Christ.